know, and that's dope to have their own style, they're in their own lane. So I can agree with you, but if we have, we have to get more people involved. You know, so the, the business side is what mi is what's missing. You know, that's, what I'm saying? that's for a lot Maybe. of artists, even in my city. Right. Um, they can look them up, and they don't flow properly. Mm -hmm. Or if you look them up, you see a product instead of the artist. Right. So your name could be iPhone Low or something like that. Right. But when I look you up, all I see is phones. I don't see your face. I don't see any of your music. So a lot of that is how they market themselves. Okay. So that's another part of the label and the industry. You have to market yourself. You have to know how to market yourself. And that's, a, that's another business standpoint. Right. So even if you're managing yourself, you need to learn the business side to properly manage yourself if you don't want a manager. All right. That's, that's, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So I, I feel like I'm here more talking on the business side instead of me being the artist sounds great. I actually wanted to talk about that more. But oh, you talk about that. It's all the passion, you know. Uh, yeah. Just being an indie artist and watching other well, indie artists do everything they can and right. they don't make it or they get discouraged. Like, I work with people from Fort Lauderdale, two extremely talented artists. But the way my city's set up, if you ain't in, you ain't in. But you have to get out your city. That's why I'm here. That's why I go to Atlanta, Tennessee. I'm actually doing a cipher in North Carolina okay. for next month. Wow. You know what I mean? So you got to travel. Like Miss Too Pretty, uh, she actually came from Columbia, went all the way to the A. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. I filmed it. Okay. Yeah. So you got to get out your city. You got to work. Yeah. You got to network. You got to talk to these people. So I'm here to network. And I'm here to talk. If you want to exactly. come up, if you want to do whatever, let me know. I'm more than willing to help. Same thing with Cody Weaver, man. She she about gave out the game for fifty bones. Was that two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's a steal. I hope somebody hops on that. Mm -hmm. So it's out there. We here to help. I'm here to help. Yeah. So let's talk about sounds great the artist, man. I know we, you said you told us about your album, but kind of tell us, you know, what what else you have going on? Anything that's new? That's, that's I've actually out? got. Two more EPs and another album coming out, but I'm working on rebranding myself. Okay. Um, I am a singer, so I'm on a smooth neo soul. Okay. That's that's my that's my jam right there. That's how I get down. But um, I got a lot of for me being on the west coast. I got a lot of that in me, and then for me, you know, frequenting up north, I got a lot of that in me too. So I can't help but rap. Right. You know, it's just it's just in me. So it's me finding my niche as a rapper now than the singer. But as far as singing, I'm trying to be the new Nate Dog, you know what I mean? Okay. You ain't so really you, got nobody out there singing like that. So you transitioned from being a singer to kinda of like that Nate Dog. Yeah. Type, type kinda of like well, kinda of like a rapper turned singer. Okay. Right? Yeah. You know, something like that. But yeah. I wanna be like the outcast or the C Lo. You know what I mean? I want that to be me. So I'm working real hard on that. Okay. So you don't have a projected release date for those EPs yet? Nah, I'm still mastering them. I got okay. I got 14 tracks, number smoothness, but I'm trying to mix it up, you know, add some more to it. So that's what I got going on towards that. Um, so man, hey, make sure you you know link up with us so we can um, get you back on DME TV. All day. Hey, be All drop day. Man. Oh, of course, there is, along with the Sine Wave radio show, there's Sine Wave TV. It used to be called Mouth Candy TV. Everything is going to be reflecting each other, so, hey. Okay. So, Mouth Candy TV, that's, that's, that's most like where you put, like, your, your interviews or, or, I mean. Mouth Candy TV is interviews. It's me coming to your shows. It's me recording you around your family, recording you around your people. It's just like, kind of like E! News, but for the underground. Okay. You know what I mean? So, anything you want to have filmed or whatever, something, a big moment, I'm there. There's a website, YouTube? YouTube. YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Any plans on the website? 
It's in the works right now, actually. Okay. I'm working with uh, my DJ up in New York. We're working on some websites, a couple, actually. Mm. And everything will come all together. So everybody needs to get their own website. Stop social media. Stop. Get your own website. Okay? Explain why. Go ahead and elaborate why. Because if you, if you tell some people you didn't get that website, they might not understand why. But coming from you being a boss, a CEO. Why you want to get your own website is because, let's say, you're on Facebook. You tell somebody to go check out your Twitter. You're on Twitter, you tell somebody to check out your Instagram. You're on Instagram, you tell somebody to check out your YouTube page. You're sending all these people to all these different sites when they can come to one place that's your website. You can already have that on your website. You know? So that's why you want to have your own website. It's good to say come to soundscrape.com. You see everything. You see the videos I do. You see the photos I do. You see the, the um, my music videos, my songs. You can download it on one spot. I mean, it's good I could say Google me. To spell my name right. You get like five to eight pages of, of Sounds Great stuff. But it's even better for me to say go to soundscrape.com. You get everything. True. In that one spot, one stop shop. Okay. I'm actually revamping my website, so it's it's down right now. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you are revamping yourself, so I know you got a you got a whole lot of stuff yeah. to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I understand that. But man, for the people that want to get in contact with you, go ahead and drop that social media info. Like I said, matter of fact, seven zero six six two seven one eight four two is my number. If I don't pick up, leave a message, leave a text. If not, sounds great at gmail.com. That's the way to find me. If not, it's easy to find my social media. I'm always on it. Because I'm always looking for talent, I'm always promoting something. So I'm either on my Twitter, my Facebook, or my IG. So everything it sounds great. And that's what you guys need to do too. Everything needs to be the same. You don't want to have different spelling of your name when people look you up. It's when it ought to be the same for your artists. So it's not a little there's some gems right here. Yeah. Throwing some gems at y'all. Okay, shout out. Shout out to Columbia, man. Honestly. <laughs> shout out to the whole city. And shout out to those who already, you know, who are gonna be on the t be on the sound wave. We got a lot of big stuff coming up. A lot of good showcases that everybody can win, so so Peace.